Hi class, today we're going to talk about ANOVA. We're going to do some ANOVA tests using Excel for Mac 2011 as well as STAT Plus for Mac. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the practice workbook and we're going to see that uh, we have the, the data set here. The research question, do preschool age children have better language development the longer they attend school? Uh, so we're going to be comparing uh, the means of these groups here, but we have three groups. So this will build on t-tests, and so we're going to need to do uh, a one-way ANOVA. We're doing a one-way ANOVA uh, because there's only one uh, one treatment or one effect. We don't have uh, we don't have two, so we just have one uh, the treatment, uh, just one treatment here. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to open up the workbook. And this is what it should look like when we are when we're all done. Uh, here is our, all of our data that we're gonna do here. We're gonna extrapolate this data and put it into a new table. We're gonna print out all of our descriptive statistics, and then we're gonna test uh, do a one-way ANOVA test. Let's go ahead and get that done. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our Word document. We're going to take out, including the labels, we're going to take out all of this right here. Okay. We're going to copy it and paste it. Put it right into here. Now, as I said, there's one, uh, only one effect, so we're doing a one way analysis. And what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make some, uh, a new table. This will be group one, and they are the ones that study for five hours. There's group two, and they are the ones that study for ten hours. And there's group three, and they study for twenty hours. Okay. So we're going to go to group one, and we're going to steal all the ones that have group one. I'm going to hit Command C for copy, and I'm just going to paste it there. Same thing for group two. I'm going to steal all the group twos. Command C, copy. Command V, paste. Click and hold. Command C, copy. Command V, paste. Uh, just because I like the way it looks, I'm going to go ahead and uh, center all of these. And uh, now that we have this selected, now that we have all of this selected, we're going to go to Stat Plus. Open that up. Statistics. We're going to do basic statistics. We're going to do descriptive statistics. And essentially, we're running this because uh, we are asked to do that in our uh, in our practice workbook. Okay. So now that it's already selected, we're going to go and hit Command Tab. And if you look in here, Workbook Three, Sheet Two, and uh, it has our data range in there. And click on OK. It'll output it to a new workbook. And as we've done several times before, we're going to copy all of that, and minimize the workbook, go ahead and paste it right here. And put a bold border around the outside. Okay. We're going to go over to Stat Plus and click on Statistics. Go to ANOVA, and as we said earlier, we're only going to do a one-way ANOVA test uh, because we only have one treatment or one effect, and so we can go ahead and do a, a one-way ANOVA test. We're going to click here. That'll open our Excel. We already have the uh, the data set that we're going to use. We already have that all selected. We can go ahead and select it again just in case. We're going to click Command Tab. And that'll get us back into Stat Plus. We're going to take a look at preferences. Everything seems to be up to par here. Two decimal spots. We can do more. Uh, alpha value for five percent. Click OK. Click OK one more time. And we're going to go ahead and copy the output. Minimize hitting the minus button. And we're going to go ahead and paste. 
let's go ahead and take a look at, at what our output provides for us. Well, we have all of our groups labeled. We can see all the sample size. And you see here we have all the averages right there. Uh, also, uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at our F statistic. And we're going to look at our critical value. And we can see that our F statistic is greater than our critical value. So we know we can reject the null hypothesis. Hypothesis. Also, our p-value is less than 0 0.05. Uh, if we'd like, we can go ahead and uh, this would have been a, a good time to have uh, something out to about five decimal points. We can, uh, if, if we like, we can go ahead and hit Command and 1 at the same time. That'll open up our format, and we can open this up to five decimal points here. Okay. And when we do that, we can see that it's 0 0.00114, which is less than 0 0.05. So we do have statistical, um, we do have statistical significance. And the last thing we'll look at is degrees of freedom between groups, uh, which is a number of groups minus one. We end up with two, and we have uh, within groups. So we have number within group one, which was ten sample size of 10 minus 1 plus 10 minus 1 plus 10 minus 1 that would equal 7 uh, 27 excuse me uh, so that's uh, ANOVAs one way uh, hopefully that helped